Hello, my friends. Today's lesson is about resilience. You see, when you're an employee of someone, every week you get a paycheck. It's the same amount, or every other week, or whatever it is, once a month, whatever your deal is, you get regular paychecks, let's say every other week. And every other week you get a paycheck and it's the same exact amount. And maybe you can get a little bit more by working some overtime, something like that, you know? And maybe there's a bonus at the end of the year. But for the most part, the paycheck's the same exact amount every week. And there aren't a lot of avenues to increase that. But you can be guaranteed it's not gonna decrease. So every month you get your money, you make sure your bills are paid, and you're, you have, you're comfortable and you move on. When you're a business owner, it's not like that. When you're a business owner, some days there's no money at all. Some days you're looking at your account and they're negative. And you're flipping out, you're like, fuck, I need money to pay bills. But then some days you're looking at your account and there's giant numbers in there. You know, giant, giant numbers in there. And you're thinking, wow, I make way the fuck more than my employees. I make the blind share of the money. And you do. But days, there are days you don't make any money and it's a cash flow, you know? I mean, it depends on the nature of your business, but like some businesses, the business I sold transacts, that business was mostly even month to month. It was pretty even. Some months we spiked a little, some months less. I mean, it was not exactly perfectly even. It was pretty even. We got money in every month and we knew we got a big chunk of money every month at a certain time in North order. But my other business, Neelix, which is a development, a software development company, me, it's different every month. It's different every week. It's feast or famine. Some weeks I have zero money, I have negatives in my bank account. Other weeks I have hundreds of thousands of dollars in there. The most I've ever had were millions, you know? I mean, so, I mean, it could go really high. There's no cap, no cap at all. You can spike that thing up to the sky and you're making tons of money as long as you can budget, which that's another, that's another topic. I'm not great at budgeting, but as long as you can budget, you're gonna be okay because during those lean months, you're gonna have money in the bank. Now, if you have too many lean months, by the time you get through the lean months, you got no money in the bank like anymore. And now you're freaking out, right? Because you got no money and you got bills coming up still. And it's going to mount, start stacking. So you need another one of those hills. My company, Hills and Valleys, many companies are like that. Hills and Valleys. Sometimes I'm in a valley, sometimes I'm in a hill. When I'm in a hill, I'm making tons of money. When I'm in a valley, I'm not making anything. And I'm spending tons of money. And my accounts are going straight. And I'm like freaking out. I got to do, 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 get big again, get back up, up on the hill. Do, 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 do. We go to the valley again. Now, the higher I can make that hill, the longer, the less the valley impacts me, and the longer I can stomach a valley. But how do we look at it? It's resilience. When you're in one of these valleys, it's stressful as hell. But you just got to persevere. You got to deal with it. You got to get through it. You can't say, "We're out of business. Goodbye. See you guys later." It didn't work out, we're in a valley, I got no money, bye. No, you gotta make it through the valley because the hill's around the corner. You can just get through that valley. You just gotta kinda, of, it's stressful, stressful. Oh my God, you're gonna have a heart attack. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, hey look at, holy shit. Now I just bought a Lamborghini, you know? I'm driving my Tesla around in my 7,000 foot, square foot house, you know, and I'm, I'm having a ball. I just put jacuzzi in, da, 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 you know, I'm up here. Oh shit, I'm coming down here. Eh, I better curb my spending a little bit. Oh fuck, I'm running out of money. Oh shit, I got no money, how am I gonna make payroll? Scramble, 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 scramble. Okay, oh god, I gotta stop, it's stop. Oh my god, I wanna die, I wanna die. Oh shit, whoa, here we are again. Hill. I put a, um, I used to shield all my employees from the problems. They don't need to know. They're getting a paycheck every month, same. Right, so if I'm in a valley, they're still getting the same amount of money. I gotta scramble to get make that money. When I'm in a hill, this part goes to me, right? When I'm in a valley, I'm I'm stomaching this part. So um, they get every month. They don't have to worry about it. And I shield them. They don't even have to know if we're in a hill or valley. They're getting their paycheck every week, right? And I'm the one with the fucking stomach ache trying to figure it out. I'm the one that has to have the resilience to make it through this problem. And I would shield my employees. And then when I stepped out of Neelix, I put someone else in charge. And what happened? He saw these problems for the first time. And he starts saying, oh my God, we got so many problems. We're, we gotta, we're gonna we got we gonna have to let everyone go. They can go get where they're non-competes. They can go work for our clients, shut our doors. We're going out of business. And I'm standing there going, are you kidding? I made tons of money. 
all these problems existed. These problems were all in place. I made great money. How does that work out? If, if these problems mean we got to shut our doors, how do I make all this money? How do I get to where I am today in my 7,000 square foot house, driving my Tesla around, you know, with whatever I want, and basically upgrading this house left and right? Secret rooms and jacuzzis and all sorts of crazy shit. Um, yeah, that's because we we were fine. We've always been fine, and we're fine right now. In fact, we're in a great spot. We're in Valley. Money's tight. I'm scrambling to make payroll each week. But our receivables are fucking sky high. What that means? There's a hill around the corner. That hill's coming. And that's gonna be a big hill. It's a big hill that's in front of us. And we're gonna go up that hill and we're gonna be in great shape. And that hill might be big enough to bring us all the way to the holiday season through the summer. And when the holiday season comes around, we always get kind of killed because a lot of people are taking vacation, there's holidays, I still pay salary. Everyone gets paid like clockwork each week, even when they're not working. So over those holidays, I think I lose at least $40,000 between Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's for maybe $60,000 I lose during the holiday seasons. And then when people start taking vacations, by the time I'm done, I might take a $100,000 hit around December, November, December, which hits me in January, February. And that's where we are right now, right? I'm in a giant valley because I'm taking the hit from the holidays. That's just how it is. But we've got a giant hill right in front of us, giant hill. I'm gonna go up that hill, I'm gonna ride that hill through the summer. I'm gonna have a great summer, tons of money. We're gonna take another hit at the end of the year. Nature of my business. If I do a good job, I might be able to get ahead of it and try to mitigate that issue a little bit. But whether it comes or goes, I'm gonna have to stomach through it. I'm gonna have to the resilience and the persistence to keep on going. And as a business owner, that's what you need. If you wanna be an entrepreneur, if you wanna be a business owner, you need to have that persistence no matter what happens, you keep going. No matter how stressful it is, you keep going. No matter how bad you fall, you keep going. You know what, if all my employees left me, employees left me tomorrow, which I thought for a while might happen because this guy put in charge was like really shaking people's confidence, right? Because he saw these problems and he was nervous. So he's putting that nervous through, through the, the company. And um, I thought I might start losing really a lot of my key people. Would I have shut my doors? Fuck no. I would put new people in place. That would have been a headache, right? Because all these people have to learn what they're doing. But you know what? It would have been a lot cheaper and it would save me a ton of money and I'd make more money. It would have been bigger headaches, but more money. And that's what it means to be a business owner. I'd have to have the resilience to deal with the headaches and I'd make even more money. The more problems you deal with, the more money you make. Fall down, you're gonna fall down, you're gonna have failures. Got to stand back up. Keep going. Persistence, resilience. Don't let anything phase you. Keep going. Nothing will make you quit. Keep going. Doesn't matter what problems you're facing. Keep the fuck going. Resilience, persistence. You got to have them. If you're going to quit at the first sign of weakness, yeah, you're done. You're not going to get anywhere because life sucks and uh, business is messy. And you got to keep going. You have the resilience to stomach it and you got to just keep going. All right, guys, I hope that's a good lesson for you today. I hope you all learned something, and uh, maybe I get my kids to listen to this and they'll learn something. I don't know, probably not. But I do appreciate my loyal followers. Please go get more followers. I need more followers here. I got, like, very few, and I need, like, a 1,000 to be able to advertise. And that's what I'm going for. So um, if you like what you hear, please subscribe, and please try to get some of your friends to subscribe. And I will appreciate it. And whoever brings me 100 subscribers, I will send you $5. Just message me. And let me know that you're the one responsible for the hundred flower, flowers that I just, uh, flowers, followers I just got. And when it brings me hundred uh, flowers, I'll be really appreciative. But that's, you know, I mean, I'll maybe give you a hug and a kiss. But anyone who brings me hundred followers gets five dollars. And if you're lucky, I'll hide it somewhere on my body and you can try to find it. That's if you're a good looking girl. Otherwise, no, I'll just give it to you. Maybe I'll mail it to you again. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for listening. Subscribe, get your friends to subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye.